San Antonio is sprawling out, but who is moving in? The latest U.S. Census reports show that the number of millennials, anyone born between 1981 and 1996, in Bear County is on the uptick. The night team Sarah Costa looks into why so many are making the move to San Antonio. I like San Antonio. It's pretty hip. Graham Whitley is 33. He moved to San Antonio a year ago because his wife got a job here. He has his own tech startup and lives near downtown. The cost of living is low. You know, there's good, good jobs. There's good opportunities here. Opportunities and jobs just might be some of the driving forces behind the increase in millennials in San Antonio. The latest U.S. Census report shows that the number of 30 to 34 year olds has actually increased over the last eight years by 29 percent in Bear County. That's an an additional 35,000 people. Since 2010, the number of 25 to 29 year olds has also gone up by 22% in Bear County. Charles Wooden is the CEO of Geekdom, a company geared towards launching more startups in downtown San Antonio. He believes there are two reasons for this trend. One, more tech companies are moving to San Antonio, and another, downtown growth. I also think a lot of the development that we've seen in downtown San Antonio has attracted more of that, you know, generation of, of individuals to move here because it's more inviting. Sarah Jones is 26 and lives in Southtown. She moved here a year ago for a tech company. She said she was surprised at the amount of young people living and working around downtown San Antonio. She says there's a lot to do in the area for people her age. I go to a few bars out here. So Paramar, there's this really beautiful rooftop bar, so you can see the city, um, still golden on Broadway. Uh, let's see, oh, I'm on a volleyball team. Wooden is 36 and on the tail end of the millennial generation. He says sometimes millennials can get a bad reputation, but he believes the increase of the generation to the city can be a positive thing. You're starting to see the millennials and even younger generations put forth their efforts to try to solve some of the city's problems. And because of that effort, you're starting to see a positive change towards the city. Sarah Acosta, KSAT 12 News.